Today, let's talk about Bath & Body Works Best Sellers. This is actually not my first time trying these perfumes or mist kasi na-film ko na ito nung nakaraan. First impression video yung ginawa ko but unfortunately, nasira yung audio. Paubos na pala yung battery nung mic na gamit ko. Katina ilok ko. But anyway, yun nga, pag-check ko ng mga clips na ginawa ko for this one, sobrang pangit ng audio as in sirang-sira siya. So ayun, we have no choice but to refilm and unfortunately, hindi ko na ma-share yung parang excitement ko when I first sniffed these perfumes or mist. But anyway, going back again, these are some of the best seller nga ng Bath & Body Works. Meron tayong Gingham, Dark Kiss we also have here, we have Warm Vanilla Sugar. These are basically yung mga mist na madalas natin makita sa Shopee. But I also have these, by the way, na hindi ko pa natitest, kaya at the end of the video, subukan din natin. And same sa previous Bath and Body Works video na ginawa ko guys, this time missed muna yung mga pinurchas ko para mas matiped. Kung bibilin ko kasi yung mga full size nito guys, probably aabot ako ng almost 6,000 pesos and I don't want to spend that much money and hindi ko pa naman sure kung gusto ko lahat kaya I feel like ito yung pinaka-ideal. First up, we have the Bath and Body Works Cucumber Melon Mist. And for this one, yung mga notes that we have are Honeydew, Summer Cantaloupe, Crisp Cucumber, Sparkling Grapefruit, and Sheer Wood. This one is super fresh. For those of you na familiar sa Elizabeth Arden Green Tea Cucumber, ayon. Doon pinaka-close yung vibes nitong Cucumber Melon Mist ng Bath and Body Works. Yung difference lang is that yung sa Elizabeth Arden meron siyang green tea and of course, this one wala siya. For those of you na naghahanap ng perfect na mist, especially kapag ka mainit, yung very refreshing and cooling yung scent, you guys might want to check this one out. And for this specific mist, yung pinaka-prominent na maamoy nyo is definitely yung melon. Medyo sweet siya by the way, but hindi naman siya yung overpowering or so Sobrang nakakaumay na tamis. May slight hint of green din siya, which I like. It balances the sweetness kasi kaya hindi siya overpowering. This next one is the Bath & Body Works Japanese Cherry Blossom Mist. And for this, yung mga notes that we have are Japanese Cherry Blossom, Asian Pear, Fresh Mimosa Petal, White Jasmine, and Blushing Sandalwood. Another best seller. Ang dami ko nakikita gumagamit na to. This one for me is just an okay scent, to be honest. Not gonna lie. <laughs> hindi ko siya favorite. Reminds me of shampoo and conditioner, actually. Ganun yung vibes na binibigay. But it's not a bad scent at all. It's just that hindi siya yung ano, scent profile na favorite ko. But I can definitely see yung reason kung bakit maraming tao yung gumagamit dito kasi safe siyang i-blind buy. Sobrang timeless and classic kasi nung pagka-floral nitong scent na to or mist. Saktong-sakto lang yung sweetness. Parang hint lang talaga siya. And for this one, I think yung nagpa-classic talaga sa kanya is yung sandalwood na note na meron siya. Formal events, work, I think this one will work. Next up, we have the Bath & Body Works Sweet Pea Mist. Another best seller. And yung mga notes nito are sweet pea, watery Repair, Freesia, Raspberry, and Soft Musk. And by its name pa lang, diba? Parang given na kung ano yung scent niya. This one is a super sweet scent. Sobrang strong. And amoy na amoy yung raspberry and pear. But what I love about this one actually is that habang tumatagal siya, medyo nagiging mild yung pagka-sweet. Tapos nababawasan na yung pagka-fruity niya. More on floral na siya. But in a good way. For those of you, especially yung teens na mahilig sa mga fruity floral scent, you guys might want to check this one out. It smells really good. And talagang kumakalat yung amoy niya. Kaya kung mahilig kayo sa mga ganun, yung talagang kumakalat sa buong room, yung scent, this one. Super fun and uplifting nung scent. This next one is the Bath & Body Works Gingham Mist. And yung mga notes naman nito are Blue Freesia, White Peach, Fresh Clementine, Violet, and Clean Musk. Nahiwag ang papel. This one actually reminds me of a cologne. Ganun yung vibes niya. For those of you na naghahanap ng mist na very clean, fresh, and also may hint of sweetness, this one is absolutely spot on. If you guys are familiar dito sa Givenchy na tartan, medyo ganun yung vibes na binibigay nitong gingham. Pero hindi sila ano guys ha, do. They are definitely not the same. Yung pagka-cologne vibes lang yung similarities na meron sila. Yung very refreshing and easy to use. Again, super clean scent. A little bit sweet, fresh. You can definitely smell yung citrus which is perfect. Especially kapag mainit. This one, okay na okay din siya. Mist number 5 is Bath & Body Works Dark Kiss. And this one, yung mga notes niya are Black Raspberry, Burgundy Rose, Bergamot Incense, Dark Vanilla Bean, and Plum Musk. And sa name pa lang ng perfume, alam niyo na siguro kung ano yung vibes na binibigay niya. And this, for me, is definitely a nighttime scent. A little bit on the mature side, but personally, I like this. You can definitely smell yung incense, and it's a little bit powdery because of the vanilla. And also, even though meron siyang raspberry, hindi siya sweet at 
all. It is actually a little bit dark. For those of you na familiar sa Midnight Fantasy ni Britney, ayon, doon pinaka-close yung scent nito. This one for me, I think, okay siya if you're like late 20s to early 30s kasi feeling ko mas appropriate siya sa ganong age. And again, since nga medyo matapang yung scent, I feel like this one mas appropriate siya for night time. We also have this one which is the Bath and Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar Mist. Which I also used to sell pero never ko nasubukan which is super nakakainis. Notes muna pala. No? So for this, we have Vanilla, Coconut, Sandalwood, Mask, and Heliotrope. If you guys are into gourmand scents, you will definitely enjoy this. It's vanilla, sugar, so diba, what more can you ask for? Slightly reminds me of Vanilla Bean Noel, but I feel like mas gusto ko yun, to be honest. But I do like this one as well, so para I'm torn. But since I have na Vanilla Bean Noel ng full bottle, I feel like I don't need to buy full bottle of this one na. And I also love na meron din siyang musk, hindi lang siya yung parang typical na vanilla and sugar perfume, which makes it slightly clean as well. Actually, perfect din siya pang mix sa ibang perfume. This one I'm holding next is the Bath and Body Works Dahlia missed. In this one, we have Dahlia Petals, Crisp Pear, Praline Musk, and Tonka Bean when it comes to notes. And I absolutely love this one. Such an amazing scent. To be honest, at first, I thought floral lang siya, but hindi. Floral gourmand siya. At least to my nose, ha? When it comes to similarities or vibes, this one actually reminds me of Jimmy Choo Illicit and Paris Hilton Gold Rush. Which is great, diba? I mean, who doesn't want to smell expensive anyway? I can stop sniffing, guys. Such an amazing mist. This one is definitely full bottle worthy and for sure, bibili ko yung full bottle nito. For this one, I think yung best way to describe it is bright and feminine. Any time of the day, actually. This one, sobrang spot on. And ang nice, kasi even though sweet siya, hindi siya overpowering, hindi nakakahilo, and sobrang nice nung pagka-blend ng floral and ng sweetness. Of course, this one hindi pwedeng mawala. Bath and Body Works in the Star Mist. Notes of this one are tangerine, sandalwood, white wood, umber, and musk. And dito sa isang to, guys, tama nga yung sinasabi nila. Very close yung amin niya sa Bakara Rouge 540 and also Cloud ni Ariana. Yeah, super close. Kaya if you love those kinds of scent profile, definitely this one you need to get your hands on. Most especially kapag ka dry down, guys. This one, na-test ko na kasi siya. Mas close dun sa dalawang yun. Both of those, by the way, I own. Kaya can definitely, ano, attest. And I think for me, masasabi ko lang na difference nila is that this one, kapag ka-initial spray, maaamin nyo yung tangerine. But again, dry down, almost identical sila. I believe Bakarat or Bakara Rouge 540 is around 16 to 18,000. Ito namang Ariana Grande Cloud is around 3,300 to 3,500. And yung in the stars, probably 550 to 600 lang. Kaya naman for those of you na budgetarian and ayaw mag-spend ng thousands of peso pagdating sa perfumes, specifically BR540 and Cloud. Dito na lang kayo guys. Sobrang bango nito guys. Perfect for teens, for early 20s. And also, di ba, hindi pa nakakapanghinayang ubusan kasi mura lang. Next up, we have the Bath and Body Works You're the One Mist. Notes of this, velvety rose, white birch, and strawberry nectar. Sobrang prominent ng strawberry note dito, which makes me so happy. Before kasi akala ko yung pinaka-prominent note na meron to is rose, kaya hindi ko siya pinapansin. In fairness dito guys, very impressive kasi ang ganda ng blending ng rose tsaka ng strawberry. Very addicting yung scent and feeling ko maraming guys yung magkakagusto dito. And I also love that this one, hindi siya yung klase ng rose and also strawberry na parang sobrang jammy and thick. Very light and airy pa din yung scent. Definitely one of those perfumes na guys magnet. And for this one, actually, yung na-notice ko is that kung ano siya sa initial spray, ganun siya true and true. Kasi diba meron mga mist na kapag ka spray nyo, iba yung amoy, tapos kapag ka nag-dry down, iba din siya. But this one, hindi. Talagang na-rarity niya kung ano yung scent or amoy niya sa unang spray. Next up, we have Bath and Body Works A Thousand Wishes. This one, meron siyang pink Prosecco, sparkling quince, crystal peonies, amber, and amaretto creme. Actually, nakalimutan ko na yung amoy na to. <laughs> Okay, gets ko na. Ito yung amoy jelly ace. I don't know, for some reason, ayun yung una pumasok sa isip ko nung na-spray ko siya. Very fruity yung amoy niya. Parang jelly ace. Medyo may pagka-soapy din or parang shower gel yung vibes. But in a good way naman. And I personally like it. Perfect for everyday kapag ka mainit. It smells nice. Hindi siya yung overly floral na scent. It is also a little bit sweet. Perfect siya for teens, for mid-twenties. I like it. This is good. Not my favorite to be honest, but definitely na-appreciate ko siya. This uh, next one is the Bath and Body Works Into the Night Mist. And for this one, yung mga notes niya are dark berries, midnight jasmine, and rich amber. Another scent which for me is perfect especially for nighttime. This one as well, hindi siya amay mist at all, amay perfume talaga. If you guys love YSL's Black Opium, you will definitely enjoy this. Classy and seductive at the same time. I think that is the best way to describe this. And also yung tresor ng Lancome, ganon. Medyo close din siya. Smells expensive guys, grabe. Definitely a must-have, I think. We'll definitely get a full size of this one as well. Again, for those of you na nagahanap ng 
affordable mist or perfume that smells expensive. Do not walk. Run and get your hands on this one. Sobrang sulit na to guys for the scent and quality. Grabe. And that's it guys. Those ones are basically yung mga best seller ng Bath and Body Works and this time ito namin yung subukan natin. We have here Champagne Rose, Snowflakes, and Cashmere and Christmas Cookies. This one I'm holding is the Bath and Body Works Snowflakes and Cashmere Mist. And yung mga notes nito are Vanilla, Cashmere, Clementine, White Tea, Umber, and Woodsy Notes. Hindi siya strong guys. This one for me is a skin scent. And by that what I mean is this is the kind of mist na parang pang close contact lang. Basically maaamin mo lang siya kapag ka malapit sa'yo, kapag ka inakap ka, hinalikan ganun. Very intimate. I think that's the best word. You know what this one actually reminds me of? This one guys, Mont Blanc Signature. Parang softer version siya but not the same at all ha. Tapos diba eto meron siyang Vanilla, may Cashmere, tapos merong Tangerine. Kaya parang nasa same circle sila. Mabango siya guys, in fairness. Very cozy yung scent. And I think pwedeng-pwede din siya and perfect na ipang mix sa ibang perfume. It is not cloying, hindi siya nakakahilo. Slightly may pagka-powdery as well which I absolutely love. So yeah, for me, this one I like. Second to the last is the Bath and Body Works Champagne Rose. Which is yung isa sa mga nag-trending na perfume and sobrang OE binibenta sa Shopee kasi yung iba guys, binibenta to ng 1,200 before. Diba like, what the hell? For a mist, 1, 2? Notes of this are sparkling prosecco, wild rose, petals and amber. I swear guys, nashock talaga ako sa price nito before. Actually, pinag-awayan pa nga sa mga ano to eh, perfume group. Actually, this one as well ha, sa nose ko, soapy yung amoy niya. But to be honest, to me, it's just an okay scent. Hindi ko masasabi na worth the hype siya. I mean, it smells good ha. But, if this one is still being sold for like 1,000, 1,2, definitely not worth getting kasi there's nothing special about it. Definitely a beautiful scent, but it's just that, ayun nga, OA lang talaga yung pricing ng ibang seller. Tapos habang tumatagal nga pala guys, naaamoy yung rose. Ayan, I actually like it, but right now, I think I don't need it sa aking collection. And also, masyado kasing marose, kaya parang medyo ano pa ako, torn. But in all fairness, ha, very classy and sophisticated yung scent. Ito yung final Bath and Body Works mist na susubukan natin, and this one is called Christmas Cookies. And grabe yung mga notes niya, guys. Sobrang nakakakilig. Almond, caramel, biscuit, and woodsy notes. This is literally like a gourmand lover's dream. Oh my god. And also, sakto-sakto, guys. Isa na lang yung paper ko. Wow. Oh my god. Tama nga yung sinabi ko kanina, guys. A gourmand lover's dream. Dream. Sa lahat ng mga gourmand scents na meron ako guys, I feel like this is the most spot on. Grabe, sobrang edible nung scent. Sobrang prominent nung biscuit and caramel note. Grabe, oh my god. A little bit warm and nutty as well because of the almond. And also yung name, sobrang perfect. Kasi amin, ano talaga siya guys? Bagong bake na cookies. Cozy, warm, and also edible. Those are the perfect words to describe this. Kailangan ko siyang bilhin ng full bottle. That's it, ito na yung winner. Definitely heaven in a bottle. Again, gourmand lover's dream. Anyway guys, that is it for today's video. For those of you na beginners sa Bath and Body Works or kaya naman gusto nyo mag-start sa collection, I feel like these are some of the myths na perfect na pagsimulan. Most of them kasi sobrang safe i blind by and also talagang perfect sa weather natin. Especially ngayon guys, malapit na ang face-to-face -face classes if you're looking for a mist or perfume na perfect for everyday and hindi mabigat sa bulsa. These ones from Bath and Body Works, definitely you guys need to check out. Of course, what is a Kenny Manalad video without recommendations? Kaya naman, isishare ko sa inyo yung five sa mga masasabi kong worth buying. Actually, lahat naman sila worth buying. Pero ito lang talaga yung nag-stand out sa akin. So, isishare ko sa inyo. First one is Gingham. I also love Dahlia. Into the Night is also perfect kasi it smells expensive. In the Stars kasi amoy Cloud and BR540. And lastly, of course, Christmas Cookies, which I I'm going to check out in a few. <laughs> By the way, yung mga links nga pala nitong decans, ilalagay ko na lang sa description box as well as yung full bottle. Para hindi na kayo mahirapan. <laughs> anyway guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. Stay safe. And I hope to see all of you again on my next one.